Hey there scientific brilliant people, how are you today? So I am going to discuss a very important part today about the lenses that whether you have concave or convex lenses, why does the ray passing through O doesn't suffer any refraction? So the answer to the problem is it is not true. All the rays which pass through the lens have to undergo the refraction. So please continue watching the video to know the complete answer. So let me take a ray which wants to pass through O, suppose like this one. So now this is a ray which wants to pass through O directly, correct. Now this is surface, let me call this surface as surface 1 and for surface 1 this is the center. For surface 1 this is the center and all the normals they pass through center. So that means I am going to, this is the point of incidence, this is center and this would be the normal. Correct? Now this ray wants to go straight like this but due to the refraction this is air, this is glass so it will bend towards normal. So it will bend towards normal like this. So this is normal and it will bend towards normal like this. Now people this is again point of incidence and this is surface 2. So for surface 2, this is surface 2, this is the radius and this is the center and the normal would pass through the center like this. So the principal axis itself is going to behave like a normal. Right? Now this light ray would like to go in straight line but now since this light ray will come out of the glass into the air so it will bend away from the normal. So this is the normal maybe we have difficulty in seeing that so I am going to highlight this one. So this is our normal and away from the normal means it would be in this direction. like this because this is it is supposed to go straight but it will bend away from the normal now I would like to continue to make this dotted line or I will extend this incident ray so this is incident ray which wants to go in this direction but due to the thickness of the lens it is getting refracted and finally coming out so people as just like the glass lab we are seeing this lateral shift over here. So instead of going straight the light rays are getting refracted and um, due to the effect of refraction the light ray is going over here. <clears throat> but if the thickness of the lens is very small then this lateral shift can be ignored. So this thickness T is directly proportional to sorry this lateral displacement T is directly proportional to the thickness of the lens and in our case we always study about thin lenses. So whether you are in grade 8 or 10 or 12 we always consider thin lenses. So in thin lenses thickness is small so this lateral shift T is also negligible. So this can be ignored so that's why we continue to draw this in a straight line because this thickness is going to be very small. So even if you even don't consider the refraction effects it's fine it would continue to move in straight line. So this is it right now let us um, do the same for a concave lens. So here I have a concave lens and this is 2f, this is 2f, this is O and the midpoint would be the focus like this. Now if I again draw a line which wants to go say through C through the optical center. So let me draw this incident ray and which wants to go 
which wants to go through point O and I am extending it. So this is the dotted line. Maybe if you are not able to see properly, I will extend this. So if the lens would not have been there, this light ray would have gone straight. But now this is the point of incidence. Now from here there has to be refraction because this is air to glass. And for this surface, this is surface 1. For surface 1, this is the center of curvature. So all normals they pass through C. So I am going to draw the center of curvature like this. Like this one. Now it would bend towards the normal. So towards the normal would be this. Instead of going straight it will bend towards normal. And from here this is the point of incidence. And for this surface, this is surface 2. For surface 2 this is the center of curvature. So center of curvature point of incidence. If I draw then the principal axis itself would behave like a normal. Right. So instead of going straight like this it will bend away from the normal. So away from the normal means like this one. So again we see this lateral shift and as I told you that the thickness of the lens is very small so the lateral shift can be ignored. So people the main thing is that if you are given thick lenses in thick lenses you cannot ignore the lateral shift you have to consider that but from grade 8 to 12 in our syllabus we have thin lenses and in thin lenses this thickness can be neglected. So hopefully guys you have uh, understood the explanation right if you have any doubts do comment in the comment section thank you for watching the video.